Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, this might be looking a little weird here, but I had to put the box like this. This is my Mickey loot for October 2020, and the reason why I'm not holding it up is because it is nine pounds. And yeah, I, I've lifted it once today, so um, I've already done bad. So, let me go ahead, sorry, let me go ahead, move it over there, get my opening instruments, and be right with ya. Okay. Here's my opening implements. Let me slide this off this float onto the bed. Okay, there you can all box. Okay. And here I am. Okay. Okay, so this is my e ticket box. This is the largest box that they do. This one is $300 plus shipping is included in the price. So that is actually pretty nice that they do do that. Especially since this box actually got shipped UPS. And we all know UPS is very expensive. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in here. Um, whew, just moving that is tiring. Give me a second. My mother went to go pick up my mail. <laughs> today and on one of my other boxes let me see if I can if I can get it and not rip into the box okay here we go here we go there was actually a label and has one large box in the front. Um, yeah, I believe this is the large box that they were talking about. So this thing is bigger than the first one I got. So I'm very curious to see what they curated for me this month. Let me go ahead and get one of my two exacto knives. No, I don't want the extra blades. I want the actual knife. Now, I did go ahead and get another one of these because I somehow lost my original one that looks like this. Plus, this one has two, and it also has extra blades in there. So, should be very perfect for this. Okay, now... How to open this sucker? I mean, this. This is gonna prove to be a challenge. Okay, let me start with this side. Okay. Try and follow the. pattern of the tape. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Do not do this at home. Okay. There we go. Almost there, I think. Yes, this whole side has been released. Okay. So that will make it a little bit easier. Let me go ahead and 
just going to cut this off right here. I'm going to cut this up a little bit differently. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of editing to edit some of this out. Okay. Because I did not think that this box was going to give me this much trouble just to open. Okay, that is one side. Whew. I'm telling you, just from that, I'm exhausted. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And now this side is open. Okay, let me see if I can get this pulled down just a little bit more for you guys. Either that or I'll flip it. Okay. Okay, Pooh Bear, you're going to have to move. Okay, here we go. Sorry about how long that took. Ugh. So, here is the sneaky peek. There is the spoiler sheet. And there's a little card in here. Let me shove this over a little bit. And pull this down a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so here is the card. Okay, so here we go. We have a note on the back, handwritten. Amy, thank you for subscribing. We have so much to share with you in the next few months. In this box, there are so many things that were so awesome that we almost didn't give them away. But we thought you they would make your day. Hope you love them too. All the magic Mickey loots. There is the card. And I do love the handwritten notes because that just makes it a lot more special. Because that me that really shows that they are really creating that box for you. Now I did have to now before I get into this box, I did have I did skip November's box. I will probably be getting a December box, so whatever they have on hold for me, they can do in December. Okay. Okay, so again here is the spoiler sheet. Let me see, can I just... Aha, uh -huh, yes I can. I am just lifting the tissue paper. Let's see what we have inside this month. Okay, we have some boppy balloons. Looks like there is a decent haul in here. Let me try to tilt it again. Now let's see, where to go first? Where to go first? I think I'll go for a small one first. I'm actually gonna 
move all these small ones out. And actually, I can figure already figure out what these are. I think these are all pins, which is insanely great. Now, unfortunately, I do have someone sleeping in the house, so I have to be very careful and quiet when I'm opening these, which is very hard to do with this box, due to the fact that everything is individually gift wrapped. And again, I love that because that just means they took a lot more time and care with it. Okay, and here we go. Here is the first item. You guys get the sneaky peek. Is it any good? Let me see. Oh my god. This just really... Because I actually watched the Lego holiday special yesterday. And oh my god, this really encompasses that. We have Jawa's gift wrapping R2-D2. Now they didn't gift wrap R2-D2, but they did have Jawa's in the special. So that was a great nod back to A New Hulk and also to The Mandalorian, since they are in there as well. And he is saying, Bebo. You guys probably can't see it. I'm so sorry you guys are so far away. But I kind of need the room. And I'm trying to bend over to you guys, but I can't do it too much. So, oh my god. This is so going into my pin collection. I love pennies. Okay. Great first start. Now let's go ahead and see what else we've got inside. Let's go for this one next. Ooh. I think I feel ears. And this one has a Mickey Loot sticker on it. Of course, I will attempt to preserve this sticker. Let's see what's inside. They almost blend in. I had to peek a little bit. Look at these ears. Oh, I forgot to mention this pin was a silver. And back to the ears. Oh my god, these. I call these the, um, Dorothy ears because they are so red and glittery, just like her shoes, and it has a little satin bow on there. And guess what I'm gonna do? If they would work. Now let me flip back. Ooh, did not quite work. If you said I'm going to put them on, well, you were right. I put them on. Oh my god. These are too cute. And the bow is really stiff. And I like that. Wow. I really love these ears. Okay, and if you are about the shadows in this video, I am having to film in a different way. That way I can kind of get a little bit more movement of my legs when they get stiff. Mm -hmm. This one I'll put right here. Okay, let's see what 
What should I go for next? Hmm. I think I will go for this one. Ooh, I love the dark purple. It is too pretty. I don't want to tear it. Oh, goody, I think I fixed it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I know what time people are saying, just rip it open. Oh my goodness, it is the child Funko Pop, and he's holding the controller knob. That is too cute, look at him. That is too cute. And there are three versions of the child for this one. And I do love him with the little knob. It's kind of like a typical baby. They want the shiny thing. They want the thing that they that will fit right into their mouth. You know. And this definitely does. If you've ever seen the Mandalorian, you will see him put this into his mouth on a regular basis. Oh my god. And then at the end of season one, the main... Mando actually handed him the knob. He just, here you go, kid. Or wait, here. Here you go, kid. <laughs> oh my god. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Where am I going to put you? I'll put you right here. Okay. Let me go for another small one. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, I'm so I was so excited about this one because this one is the post op box. And I asked them something about the box. No, I was supposed to have the box shipped to my house, but instead it shipped to my P.O. box instead. And they apologized. They don't know what quite happened. But I think is the shipping label is probably printed as soon as they go to start making as soon as they go to pull the ticket. So if you want this box shipped to a different address, my suggestion is change the address before it renews. That way it captures that, that new address so that you are good to go. So, I mean, I'm not upset. <laughs> But some people could get upset, especially if you are moving. My suggestion is to, if you are moving across country, I don't know what you can really do unless you have friends over where you're moving to, where you can get put their address down. I don't know. But, um, yeah, always having a secondary address that you can use as a backup would be good for moving. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Is it any good? Ooh! Oh, wow, this is neat! 
This is the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 25th Anniversary Pin, and it's Alice in Wonderland at the Tea Party. That so goes with the theme of the Food Expo. I love this. I a big reason why I love it is the fact that there is so few Alice in Wonderland themed things. Actually, when I went, there was like a very little Alice in Wonderland, especially in pins. So, and if you are getting a glare off my glasses, I do apologize. I kind of do need them. So this is insanely cute. Let me see if I can get that a little bit closer to you. Awesome. Actually, let me see if I can move you guys a little bit closer to me and not bunch myself in. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Getting a bit in dry mouth. Okay. There's so much in this box, I don't know which way to turn. Okay, back to what I was saying. I emailed them. And I mentioned to them that I would be skipping November and asked if in December I could get some Christmas decorations. And they said, yeah, get a hold of us to let us know what you want. Now, I know the box will arrive after Christmas, but that's perfectly okay. That means I will have Christmas decorations for 2021. That is perfectly fine with me. Okay, now, I can tell it is a mug. Let's go ahead and see what kind of mug is, it, is in here. Oh, they double wrapped it. I am so sorry. I, when I see something I really like, you know, I do that. This is basically, yeah, I want to say this is, yeah, this is um, more geared towards the original trilogy. Sorry, I thought I saw something was wrong with the, the mug, but it's not. No, it's it's perfectly fine. It is a Star Wars mug, of course, but it is Weapons of the Empire. And also the Rebels. So you have two Death Stars, because there were two of them. You have the... AT-ATs, you have a Rebellion ship, you have the um, TIE Fighters, sorry I had to think of it for a second, and then you have the Millennium Falcon right here within the part of the handle. And on the bottom, it actually has specs written into the bottom of the cup. That is too cool. This is insanely cool. I am so afraid that I'm going to drop it up here while doing this. Okay, where do I put you so that you are safe? I think I'll tuck you in right there. I love that. I love mugs. Mugs are one of my fav all-time favorite things. 
simply because you can use them for a ton of different things. You can use it as a drinking mug. You can actually use it as a pen holder, a pencil holder. On, on an ends holder, which I do do that with more decorative pens, especially the ones I get from my kawaii boxes, the stationary boxes. That is where they, they end up in. So I love that, and that will not be used for pens. I will be drinking out of that. Okay, let me go for... Ah. This big old bad boy. Again, it is in purple paper. I love it because it is in my favorite color. It's purple. I really wish I could just tear into this tissue paper. I really do. This going slowly stuff is not for. <gasps> Sorry, it's not for me going slowly. Oh my. God. Oh. Wow. Where do I begin on this? Oh. Now this is a bag from BioWorld, which I do not mind. I actually love BioWorld bags. These I can more easily use day to day and not have to worry about them like my lounge flies. <laughs> but oh my god. Okay. Where do I start this bag? Oh my god. There's so much on here. Okay. Here we have... Oh god, where do I start? Why don't I use... Let me start on the back. That will be a lot easier. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like in complete and utter shock. Okay, so we have a ton of stuff going on here. We have all from the original trilogy we have all of the characters on here we've got Jabba the Hutt here and he's asking bring me the hot sauce because he's eating actually this is something I've not said on a video I actually would walk around after seeing Return of the Jedi and I actually would say, I'm Jabba the Hutt. I was a very strange two-year-old. But it was a few words that I could say. I'm Jabba the Hutt. People were just happy I could talk. Okay? So we have R2-D2. He is in love with a trash can. Not surprising. Not that he's trash, but it's the fact that they're both the same the same shape. So yeah, that would make sense. Admiral Akbar Appreciation Society. We have Darth Vader with a Death Star balloon. We have Luke with Yoda and it says I've got your back. We have a stormtrooper checking out a um a speeder, I don't remember what they called this speeder, but he's checking out a speeder ride, and it's one of those kiddie rides. There is a coffee mug, and it says, I like my coffee on the dark side. We have Darth Vader again. He Here he is doing a topiary of the Death Star. Here is a rebel ship, and it says, are we there yet? We got... Not Django Fett, Boba Fett 
with Han and Carbonite going to oversized luggage. Let me see if I can get that close enough for you to see that. We've got Darth Vader playing with a yo-yo. We have Darth Vader walking an at-at. Wow. And on the front, we do have a gold Star Wars. Wow, this bag is so far awesome as heck. Okay. Let me see. There's only one zipper across the top, which is perfectly fine with me. You know, lounge flies have the double zipper, but I'm fine with one. Let's see. Okay. The inside is just black. I don't mind that. I actually like a simple interior. That way I'm not staring into it because it's just sucked me right in. But too perfect. As I said, I'm, I love my lounge flies. I do use them. But sometimes I'm kind of a little bit on the, oh, what if it breaks? You know, but at least now I have this one. I can go ahead and use this one for day to day. So, perfect. I love it. And plus, a little back mini backpack like this will keep me from trying to overstuff my purse. Let me put that over to the side there. And let's go ahead and see what else is inside of this box. Okay. Now we've got a couple of box boxes in here that I'm trying to wait on. So let's go ahead and see what this is. I'm guessing this is a journal. Which I do love to collect journals. Now some people may be saying, oh that's stupid, especially if you don't use them. But I do collect them due to how, how they look. Because if they have a unique look to them, I do want to keep it. Okay, and this is from this dumb line. I'll let you guys get the... First peek at it. Okay, so this is 7 of 12, and it is from the Blue Fairy, Always Let Your Conscience Be Your Guide. So this is from Pinocchio. I do love this. And on the inside, you've got, I want to make sure this is on all the pages, you've got little, little Cat Fiddle, if I remember correctly, that's her name, and then you've got Jiminy Cricket right there. Oh my god, this is too cute. Sorry, I was just trying to make sure the binding was good. I get easily distracted, especially these days when I take pain medication for this from the surgery. So I do apologize for that. Okay. And this is what the side says. It says Disney Wisdom Volume 7. So this would actually be great, oh god, let's say a little girl wants to start using a diary. She could, you could actually get her this set of journals and she can use number one as the first set of journal entries and then just volume two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. There you go. I do like this. Cool. Okay. There is still so much in here. Okay, let me put this off out right here. Now, I did want to address this again. I know I address this in almost every one of these videos. This is how you know these are post-op videos. If I'm kind of, I'm, I'm sounding like I'm excited, but I'm not looking excited. Unfortunately, that's what pain meds do to me. So I do apologize for that. I am really excited about everything I'm getting. I mean, it is beyond awesome. So let's go for one of these small ones right here. And this is going to end up being another long video. The first one ended up being 50 some odd minutes, even with a little bit of editing out. Now I don't tr I don't edit very much because I want to show all of my reactions to everything. Oh, I shouldn't have looked. Look at that. Oh my god, it is another Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. And it's the fairy godmothers from Sleeping Beauty. Oh my god. And it's with that freaky cake that they made for her 16th birthday. Too cool. I know one is called Meriwether, one is called Flora. I can't remember what the other one's called. And I probably won't remember, but I do love all of the Disney fairies. They are all so classic. And this, of course, is when they are in their human form when they're taking care of Princess Aurora. I do love this. I love the fact that I didn't even go to Disney and I got two Disney Epcot food and wine pens. Oh my god. This actually brings me back. No, we, no, we went during the... We went in April, so it was during the, the Flower and Garden show. The Flower and Garden. That's when we went to Walt Disney World. Too cool. Okay, let me... Let me move these two boxes out of the way. So I can see into the bottom of this box. Let's see. I'm going to leave the, the very last item in the box to be the very last item I open up. So let's go ahead and oh my god. Oh, now I gotta get the rest of them. Oh, wow. This is Donald Duck on the Casey Jr. Circus Train Attraction. And this is Vinyl Pop, and this is the first one. Oh, my God. There you go. <laughs> This is too insanely cute. The reason why I said now I've got to get them all is because it looks like they will all hook together to make a train. So we've got the Fab One, Two, Three, the Fab Four plus two animals. So we've got 
McDonald, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, that's the four. And then you have Pluto and Dumbo. So here is the back. Oh my god. And I was actually looking at this someplace and thought, oh, that might be cute to get. But I wasn't thinking about really getting it. And now, boom. Now I've got to get the rest. Too stinking cute. I'll put that to the side. And let's... Open up the last two pins. Okay. Ah. Mm. Okay, come on. Come on out. Okay. I'm going to let you guys have the first sneak peek. There you go. I can see they're from Funko. Is it any good? I hope it's something good. Let me look. This is too gosh darned cute for words. Oh my god. We do have Alice in Wonderland. But it is something that is hardly ever depicted in any type of merch. It is when the, the Red Queen is playing uh, croquet. As you can see, we've got the hedgehog, which normally rolls up, and is the ball. And you can see here, the queen is holding a... It's a long-legged bird. I don't want to say it's a flamingo, simply due to the fact that they're all sorts of different colors, and not just pink and white. So, I don't know if they are any other color. But that is too cool. Of course, it could be Wonderland's version of the Flamingo. I love it. Wow. Too cool. And I don't have any Funko pins. My brain just went dead there for a second. I don't know why. I don't have any Funko pins, and I cannot wait to add these to my collection. Okay, the last small package. Ooh, I think this one's a keychain. I'm going to do this the easy way. This is also the cheater's way. Okay, that side is sealed up. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Okay, so this is from the Disney Princesses line. You guys are getting a sneak peek. Let's see, which princess did I get? Oh, this is too pretty. This is Cinderella. And we do have all of the main people. Oh, and it's stamped on the back. Disney. And it is semi-3D because the ribbons aren't attached to the picture. 
We have Gus Gus, we have Cinderella, we have the Prince, we have the Fairy Godmother, we have the Carriage, we have you won't, we have the cat, little cat, and we also have the castle up here in the corner. I'm trying to get this as close to the camera as I can. Oh my goodness. And this is a lounge fly keychain. These are great quality. Sorry, again, I'm hearing things. Okay, let me just make one final check. Yeah, I do have everything. Here is the last box, but not the last item in the box. There is one more item down in there. Ooh, I think this is a Miss Mindy. Okay. I'm trying not to look. Okay, you guys get the first look. And let's see who it is. <gasps> it's Tinkerbell. I love Tink. Tink is my favorite fairy. She was the very first Disney fairy I ever got acquainted with. Oh my god. I actually have her on a wish list someplace else. I'm going to have to remove her. But oh my god. Too stinking cute. And I do love the fact that she kind of has like an attitude look to her. And she's kind of like winking at you. Kind of like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Wink. <laughs> That is too stinking cute. And this is from Series 1. I didn't realize that they came in series. Oh my god. This is too pretty. I would take it out of the box, but... Okay, where to put you now? I'll put you right there for right now. Stay. <laughs> okay, and... Is this the last item? Yes, this is the very last item in the box. Look at this thing. It blocks me off the camera. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we've got. It looks like it might be a print. From what I'm seeing. From the pre-ripped part. But I could be wrong. Okay, here you go. You guys will get the first look. Any good? Oh. Oh my god, I had it. 
the wrong way. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh my god, it's Cinderella and she of course is running from the ball because it is midnight. And this is actually named Chasing Midnight by Ashley Taylor, who is a freelance designer and illustrator living in South Southern California. She became enchanted with Sleeping Beauty and also became enchanted with the idea of becoming an artist. I'm kind of ad-libbing here. So she, she has worked with various studios and properties including Disney, Her Universal, Marvel, Lucasfilms, and Studio Ghibli. <gasps> oh yeah, she's elite. She also and she also enjoys when she's not working, traveling, hugging puppies. Oh my god, I would enjoy hugging puppies in my spare time too. And watching Audrey Hepburn movies, which I do love Audrey Hepburn. And I do watch her movies when I can. There is a little note on the back. Oh my god. Oh, wow. And this is actually double back carded. As the green one is etched and then you have the white one underneath it. This is too pretty. I will frame this before I put it up. Oh, wow. And I know it's called something else when you put a back card with a print. I'm just um, amazed I'm still going. But oh my god. This print is just everything. Oh wow. Let me go ahead and put it back into the box. Where it will be better off for right now until I can get a frame for it. Okay, so if you remember at the start of this video, which I know it's been a while, but I do have a spoiler sheet, so let's go ahead and see what the value of this box really was. Remember, this box is their e-ticket, which means it is $300. And let's go ahead and see what it is. The Disney Showcase Collection Miss Mindy Tinkerbell is $30. The Star Wars Blueprint Mug is $14.99. The Funko Pop The Child with Control Knob is $11.99. The Funko Pop Trains Disneyland 65th Anniversary Donald Duck is $22.99. The Star Wars Comic Illustration Mini Backpack is $69.90. The Red Sequined Ears are $29.99. The Wisdom Journal Blue Fairy is $16.95. The Cinderella Art Print Chasing Midnight is $39.99. And the fact that, again, it's already basically just pop it into a frame and go. I love that. The 2020 Epcot International Food and Wine, Sleeping Beauty Fairies, and the Alice Pin are $17.99 a piece. The Jawas and R2D2 Christmas Pin is $9.99. The Funko Pop Alice in Wonderland pin set is $18.90. And the Cinderella movie poster keychain. Oh, that was. Okay, I would never have seen the movie poster. I'm too young for that. Duh. 
is $9.90. Again, that is Loungefly. For a grand total of, oh wait, perk items. I wonder if everything, yeah, everything I think came from the parks. Yeah, because everything had a price tag on it. It was the park's price tags. Sorry, I got distracted. There was a little note at the bottom. The grand total of the value of this box is $311.57. Whew. Again, another great box from them. A great value as well. Granted, yeah, it was only $11 and some odd cents more than the box. But you know what? Coming out either even or just a little bit over is better than not even coming in. So, yeah, I will take I wish I a magical fairy godmother of my own that can help me with this. So, please. Now, please do remember my first one, my first milestone, which is 100 subscribers. Once I hit that, I will be doing a giveaway. Information is actually in that video that I got up in the iCard section. So, yeah, I skipped November. Now I'm kind of regretting skipping November. Darn it. But I had to. But, again, it's another great box. I cannot wait to see what I get for December. So, please, 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 as always, as I always tell you, please wear a mask to protect yourself and others. Don't forget to wash your hands, and don't forget to keep right on reading. Bye-bye.